Hi guys! In today's video, we're going to be looking for hidden gems in the form of slime shots. Slime is a booming industry with names that everyone knows, but what about the names that people don't know? Today's mission is to scour the internet for some of these serious sold slime shops and secret shop them and see if they're really as good as advertised. The first shop up to the test was Lime Slime Co. and this is barely a wig. This is a super sizzly base slime and it came with a clay sculpt that came with tissue paper wrapped all in it. When I opened the box, it looked like this had completely lost its shape, but when I opened it, it was such a pleasant surprise. It had all of these fur accents that I guess the tissue was keeping in place, it hadn't crushed at all and everything was perfect. It was still so soft, mixed so smoothly and the scent of this was stunning. It was a cotton candy and lemon scent which isn't a pairing I've smelt before but it's really really pleasant. Like you can see here, such a silky slime, it has a few bit of textures in there just from the confetti added in but all in all this is a fantastic slime I would say even better than advertised. Next up we have Red Gummy which is one of the shop's best sellers. This did have a bit of a mess on the outside but this happens all the time in transit and the slime still came in perfect condition. Like you can see this is super glossy and exactly like the name suggested, it's a gummy feel. It does feel like a mixture of clear glue and also white glue but it feels like there's a secret ingredient in there and like you can see from the gloss I really feel like something else was added. This is scented like Red Starburst and the only downfall for me is when you activate this some of the dye does come off on your hands. Last up from the shop is Love is in the Airy Marshmallow and this is such a sizzly slime like you can see here, came with loads of fun toppings. I really like that it had this icy texture as well as the clay add-ins just because when you mix this in, instead of just getting a basic clay slime like you did with the previous one, you actually get a texture change and you get this like snowy clay texture which was so nice, so doughy and like you can see here, it's just so pleasant and a nice little change. The only downfall for me was just that the colour was a bit dull but also it's a marshmallow colour so I can't really complain and the scent was a birthday cake marshmallow scent Everything came wrapped in bubble wrapping and they also included some sweets. I didn't get any borax which is uncommon in a slime package but also isn't essential and like you can see here I got a little slime extra which I thought was so much fun and like you can see I secret shot this so this is completely normal add-ins that everyone would get and I thought this was a lovely touch. The next shop I came across was one called Snoop Crunch and this is their Twix trifle. This was a three tiered layer slime and on the bottom it had a clay layer and then the middle part was a snow part and the top was a clear one. The the clear part was sticky so I had to put this in the fridge and when it came out it was really nice. I did find that it was a bit tough on the bottom as I expected but just to maintain the look of how it was intended to look I thought this is an important thing to do. And like you can see here when it was softening up it started to mix up really smoothly. It turned into this gorgeous chocolate brown colour and it was very soft and this ended up being really doughy. The two downfalls for me was that there was a slight snow fallout and there was also an artificial chocolate scent but I'm also aware that candy smells a bit different different in the US than it does in the UK.
The next time is based off one of my favourite albums at the moment, Sour by Olivia Rodrigo, so I had to buy this. And again, this one was very sticky, so I had to put this in the fridge. Unfortunately, because it is a tiered one, I think they just make it and obviously it depends on when people buy it in relation to that, so it could get a bit sticky. But the end result was really lovely, like you can see it's a clay based slushy, and this had a grape scent. A really nice grape scent, just the typical one you smell in all the sweets, but yeah, really, really nice, and the beads weren't scratchy at all. Last but not least from their shop, I decided to go for a DIY clay slime and the bottom of this was so nice, so thick. I would honestly buy so many clear slimes from them if I knew that this was the texture. The clay was really soft and the topping was also nice. This was a different texture of clear slime. It was slightly thinner and it also had a pink topping. And on the listing I did check and it said that this was an unscented slime, but the pink bit was definitely scented with strawberry, which is something to bear in mind. But other than that, I have no complaints with this. This is really pleasant beautiful to mix up, absolutely no stick in this at all, and the colours were so complimentary of being mixed up. This product was also listed as a 9 ounce, but when it was inflated, I reckon this probably inflated to around a 13 or 14 ounce slime. The extras with this were two sweets, a borax baggie and a slime cashew. The next shop is Jaden's Craft Shack and this is one of the most, actually no, this is the best clear slime I've ever tried. This was so clear. I've never ever received a slime from a shop that was just this clear. Like I received very clear slimes but this was like literally liquid glass. It was so thick yet so stretchy. This was just perfectly formulated and so much detail went into this. The add-ins were beautiful, so unique. There were some fish bowls in there but also some really nice um, bees. It had some bingzu, which you couldn't see at first, some leaves and also lots of other things that you wouldn't immediately first notice. But ultimately, I'm in love. It was really important for me to try all of the different textures in these people's shops and the next one I tried was a DIY clay slime, as you've probably guessed through this video, I do love them, and this is a pineapple upside down cake. On the website this is said to be scented like the name, honestly I don't really think it is, it smells like a birthday cake but that's still a nice scent and when mixed up the colours are actually really fun, I didn't think they would sustain in the slime that much but when you're like pulling and tugging at them you'll randomly get strands of red and yellow which I thought was really pleasant, the slime didn't dry out at all on the top and it ended up being this really nice orange colour. Last up from her shop I had watercolour glitz and this was such a beautiful array of colours. Unfortunately this was a bit sticky and even with putting this in the fridge it didn't really work too well but when taking it out, weirdly enough on the table it wasn't anywhere near as bad. This was a really nice crunchy slime and the colours in this were beautiful, just a really nice pastel colour and the scent of this was like a sweet sherbet scent. extras was so good. I got this massive bag of sweets which was so tasty, some borax, a care sheet and everything came really well wrapped. Squishy's Homemade is a super underrated slime shop and this one was a duotone slime that I had sitting around for probably around three weeks. I got the flu, you'll probably hear it in my voice, and 
this was just so nice the colors maintained so well they didn't mix at all i think one part was clay and the other part was slime so this was super airy you had all the bubbles really nice asmr and the scent of this oh my goodness this smelled like warm full scents that you'd smell going into every candle shop this was so nice so unique and so unexpected this was such a simple texture but done so well i could not recommend this enough The next product I tried from them was a microfloam, and these are kind of like hit and miss. Some people don't get the mixture completely right. This shop does simple textures so well, like just so, so well. And this had a bit of a stick to it, but once you mix it in, it just makes sure that the balls all keep in and it ends up being really crunchy as well. And this was beautiful. It didn't have a scent, which was a bit of a downfall, but also I guess they were just trying to keep the clear slime clear. And like you can see here, when you mix it in, there's just no balls falling out. It was really, really nice and this shop is just so good and so underrated. I misplaced the extras, but they gave me two lollipops, a borax sheet, and also a care sheet. This last shop is the only one that wasn't secret shops in this, and this is from Warwick Slimes. Now, this was too good not to include in this. They're a super unknown brand. This one was like a putty slime. I did tell them that I was ordering this, so they made it custom for me. Even though it was using their same recipe, they just overactivated it to make sure it wouldn't stick. Like you can see, this was so, so clear. This was so nice, so holdable, so photogenic. Like that was the main thing when I was playing with this I was like this is gonna look great in the video and it did and I was so pleased with this it actually made me feel like um those really cool videos that I see people film and I'm like I wish I filmed that and this slime made me feel like I had the capacity to do that I did find with stretching it it didn't really stretch too much but like I said they did overactivate it so this did have more of a putty texture The next slime's label was smudged off a bit, but it wasn't too much of an issue. And I don't know if you can notice, but around the top, you actually get a bracelet. So you can take this off and have it as a bracelet. And inside you get these really gorgeous charms. And I thought it'd be an inconvenience, but honestly it wasn't. It was really beautiful. I have these around my house just as decor now. I did find that my hands were, they had like cream on them. So it made the slime go a bit yellow. But like you can see here, it was so clear at first. Had some thermos at the bottom as well as the little um, sculpt in it. And this was really unique. Unique. I don't normally see charms this big and I guess for some people this could be an inconvenience but I really do think it's an art form I think this is really beautiful and it just had the same texture as the previous one and when you take out the charm you do get to play with it in the exact same way this did have the same texture as the previous one so it was a putty and none of these were scented either the last time I tried from them was based off the beautiful movie that is up and this was Carl and Ellie it had loads of little heart fiamos at the bottom and heart balloons and it had their little house and also charms of them this was very hard to play with just because there was so much going on in the slime but it was just such a lovely slime to receive and if you have someone who um, has played with a lot of slimes or just, you know, has a ton, this is a very unique slime. Like, I've never seen any this detailed and this fun. And you could still play with it, but like you could see it is a bit um, tough to manoeuvre. And this did have the same texture as before, so a bit passy. But he did want me to mention that he did overactivate it for me, so normally they're slightly more stretchy than this.
These weren't bubble wrap, but they did come in this really nice styrofoam packaging. There was no leaks and no issues with the containers whatsoever, so I can't really complain. And for extras, I got a borax baggie, some firmos, and also a care sheet. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Sorry if my voice sounds a bit bad, I've had the flu. But I hope that you enjoyed this video anyway, and be sure to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe if you did enjoy it, and I'll see you very soon. Bye!